What's up, team YouTube? Um, I'm back as promised, more content. I'm gonna try and do a video a week at least, uh, but I'll still keep it short and punchy, 10 minutes and under. Um, and from as a point of difference, I'm not just gonna feature American stuff, obviously, because I'm in Australia, so I'll show you some Australian shit. Um, and hopefully, with the show and tell, you might get to know about, more about it. And you know what? Might start chasing some up. Um, I know quite a few of the collectors on the foreign pages who love the Australian prints as much as I love the Brazilian and the American and the Spanish and the you know, all the other ones. Um, so it's, it's, it's a great hobby or a side hobby if you're a comic collector to get into. Um, but yeah, so I'll just jump straight into it. For today, I'm actually looking at Avengers number one. Um, and I'll, I'll start off by saying, obviously, the American one is the one that started it all as, as a team book for Avengers. I'm a true believer of low grades better than no grades. So having a PGX 1.8 is as low as you'll get. <laughs> but at the same time, I've got a copy and I'm always happy to upgrade down the track. Now, this came out September two, uh, 1963, meaning it's you know, two months away from having its 60th anniversary. Um, so from a chronological order perspective, Avengers was actually printed three times four times in um, Australia. I'll show you three of those copies and I'll start with the earliest and I'll move to the newest, if that makes sense. Um, the first one to have a look at is actually Horwitz. Now this one is rare as fuck. <laughs> um, the, the difference between this and the other ones from the 70s is at the 70s they had a new send distribution meaning there was a lot more going around whereas i don't believe Horwitz had new stand distribution they were just sold in corner like little corner stalls and shit like that um and as a result they are much much scarcer i would say in the past seven years since i've been chasing Horwitz books i've probably personally held three i've owned two um and ironically enough this one i actually bought from america back into australia um the Avengers one is believed to have been printed late 1964, early 1965. So it's a year or so after the American counterpart, uh, but significant points of difference, right? If you look at the Horwitz one, you've got a few things happening here. You've got Maurice Bramley on the cover. He's a New Zealand born Australian artist who actually did, who were tasked to do all the covers for the Horwitz comics. So you'll see they look very different to, to the other counterparts. Um, and also because he was more an artist that looked after uh, cowboy comics and spy comics and things like that. He was a lot more realistic and illustrative in art. And you can see that in his line work. Now, what he did do, and uh, a cool point of difference, is he didn't bother creating composition for this comic uh, for the cover. Um, he actually just took swipes of different panels inside of the comic, this comic and other comics, to create what is now the cover for this. So it's a very different take on Avengers uh, for the first issue. And also the fact that we had Stanley in 2014 sign this in Australia during his visit to Supernova makes this probably a one of a kind one. So um, I know a few collectors in other countries who have copies of this. They're usually raw. Um, I don't recall seeing many of them or any of them on the census at CGC. Um, and having had a raw copy before, I also know that the second last cover is actually a original content from our local artist, Maurice Bramley, because at that point in time, the expectation was all comics were to be local in content. So um, it is a little bit different and it makes it very, very scarce in terms of uh, being a point of difference to the American version, right? Uh, the American counterpart. So finding a copy of this, fucking tough <laughs> um, and usually people who own it will not part with it unless you get to their estate sale first or or get into their dms with uh, a few nude pics um so really this is this is really one of my grails i've got thirteen thousand comics uh, my two hardwoods comics would be in my top five easy purely because of the fact that you know there's a significance to it from an australian perspective but also uh rarity appeal point of difference uh, value value is cool but value is not everything for me i think it's a really fucking cool book so considering the 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 fact that these two were only about a year apart the next one i'm going to show you was 11 years later right so 11 years later newton came along and they said well i'm going to print we're going to print all the the key marvel titles locally and they started with the number one issue so that spider-man that daredevil that Avengers and so forth and so forth um, but what they also did is they were very stingy on uh, ink 
so they limited the number of colors they used on the cover so the interiors are still black and white but the covers were really limited in color and there was a lot of primary colors used because of that the covers pop really well like all the colors are competing for attention so if you know if you had art at school you'd know all the primary colors would be like <laughs> like fucking daggers in your face um and when you're actually doing art in school they'll tell you don't use primary colors to create depth because everything's going to look flat and they uh, the irony of it looking like that is it's actually fucking cool because they achieved it now i know with the daredevil um episode that i did I actually said the Yaffa cover is so much better <laughs> than the other the other Australian prints, um, purely because of Maurice Bramley's art and his take on the character, um, and he used this, the first splash page actually as a as a cover. Uh, but in this in this case, I actually really think this is a, an amazing cover compared to the Yaffa. The Hawitz wins for me hands down. But if you look at the Yaffa, the reason I said that. 1978-79 Yaffa came out with Avengers number one and they actually just used issue two's cover so issue two um isn't as sexy it's it it's still got little points of difference so look at giant man's outfit there is different i think hulk's color is a little bit different uh my cover is a bit worn uh torn up a little bit it's a cool comic but it doesn't stand up against the, the Newton one for me. I think in terms of sex appeal, just doesn't have it that much. Um, cool book. They make up for the fact that they didn't use the cover by actually putting the first page as the cover page or using the cover on the first page. Let me rephrase that. So um, nice book to have, but it will never be Avengers 1 from Newton. But Avengers 1 from Newton will absolutely never be the Horwitz one. Um, this really for me is right up there. Um, Daredevils is probably a little bit scarcer than this in my opinion purely because um, you don't come by them quite often um, I know a few more international collectors who have this than local collectors but I do know whoever owns these tend to not get rid of them um, but look I'll, what I'll do is on Instagram I'll post a few photos of this cover and where the composition comes from interior pages and so forth just as FYI so you get to know the full story but definitely check it out um, it's really a cool point of difference to own something like this. So if you love your Avengers and you feel like, you know, you've achieved everything you've with your American uh, collection, it's time to expand and branch out and have a look at some of the other books. Um, that's pretty much it. So from our perspective, 1963, 1964 and 65 uh, and 77, 78, 79 for, for Newton and Yaffa. Um, really cool books. I, I've got the federal Avengers somewhere, but I'm not going to bother with that. That's mid eighties, early eighties, and it's too much of clones of the American ones. And they didn't really start with Avengers number one, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to show off that one at the moment. Um, if you have questions, call out below, reply, ask me, mess send me messages on Instagram or whatever. I'm always happy to help. If you're after copies, especially the Avengers, um, Newton or Yaffa ones, I might know people who have them. Um, some of the issues done that that might, might not be issue one, it might be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, blah, blah, blah. Um, more than happy to help or help you hunt them down because it's kind of what I fucking love doing. So um, give me a yell, tell me what you want to watch next. I'll show some more of the, the, the Australian books. And in the meantime, have a look out for these. And if you find them in the $5 bins or $10 bins, so I can buy 10 and please send them to me. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Bye.